it's high noon here in Colorado. I'm so glad you could join me. It's uh, today is the 14th day of September, and we are my 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 in the midst of uh, transition. The weather is uh, going from summer to fall here in Colorado. How beautiful! A little. Uh, light showers early this morning. Colorado actually truly does have the change of climate and it's just so beautiful. I welcome all of you YouTubers that are with me today as well as those on Blog Talk Radio. If you would like to uh, hear other programs that we have done on uh, this Blog Talk Radio, feel free to go back and Go to uh, blogtalkradio.com and then it's forward slash Dr. Dew. Yes, I am uh, Lauren Dew, Dr. Lauren Dew, here with you to say a word about this. Uh, we uh, have been talking for the last several weeks uh, dealing with the subject of sex in the Bible. And we will continue that today but before we get to that since we're doing the YouTube and that's uh, the exciting thing about YouTube is that uh, you know hopefully you're sharing this with your friends and others we're coming up on uh, in, sept in October rather uh, domestic violence month and so a lot is getting ready to start happening to start to expose and to uh, confront and reveal and deal with these areas of abuse and we have an assignment in October we will be in Connecticut for a domestic violence conference and so we are excited about that and would like you to tell your friends that are in that area hey Dr. Dew will be in town and we'll have with us uh, some of our new books and incidentally if you don't want to lug a book around in your hand or in your purse or however you transport your uh, books then you can go on right now and go to amazon.com and get teddy bear stolen innocence it's out there it's done uh, we have the, the EPUB is available and you can start to read that and uh, tell your friends Hey, Dr. Boo's book is finally out. We finally got it. And, and we have on our website, if you choose to, to wait and go to our website, we're giving away every nth number uh, of uh, books. I think every nth number of signers will get a book. So I'm not sure if it's 20 or 30 or maybe it's 10. But every uh, uh, X number of persons that sign will get a free book. And I'm not going to even ask you for the uh, postage. We're going to send you the book. And then, hey, if you know someone who is going through, if you know someone uh, from afar that is dealing and having a difficult time with issues rather relative to abuse, domestic violence, rape, incest, sodomy, lesbianism, homosexuality, intersex, any of those issues, and you believe that they're in serious jeopardy and would like to get something to them, you send me an email with your name and their name, and I will send them my first book. Don't say a word. Uh, shh. Don't say a word about this. Yeah, we got to do that. Shh. Because that's what it's all been about. It's been this hush hush about all this. But that time is over. We're here now to uh, expose, to confront, to reveal, to get people talking about these issues in a very loving and caring way and a concern way to you know see fewer people uh, 
die, fewer people get raped, fewer people uh, be traumatized because of some uh, insane person, or and they probably aren't insane, just some person who is sexually driven and don't care how they get it and who they get it from, whether it be a little kid, whether it be an adult, they just want it. Well, we want to help them get it, but not that way. They're going to get it another way, and they're going to stop this foolishness of abusing these children. And yes, you pedophiles out there, to you, if you happen to tune in because you think you're going to find see something, stop it. Stop it. You know, if you are that hard up, go and buy yourself a doll. If you refuse to do it God's way, if you refuse to do it uh, the human nature's way, then go get yourself a doll and, and have sex with the doll. Leave these children alone. Leave these adults alone. We got a man here in Colorado right now who uh, basically has uh, almost threw a woman <laughs> out the window, set her place on fire. Then he's in jail, and we find out that he killed another woman just a few days earlier, and they're beginning to believe he is a uh, a, a one of these serial rapists, serial uh, killers, uh, insane person. And, you know, they're all over the country. And, I yes, I am an alarmist. I want to sound the alarm. I want to ring the bell. I want to shout it out. If you see something or a, see something happening that is out of the ordinary, you see someone come to work and they're all beat up and bruised, or you see them, you know, got a broken arm and it's why do they get a broken arm? And that story they tell you doesn't make, them, make any sense. Or they, they say they fell in the shower and they've said that same tale uh, several times. Listen, s don't let them get away from you without giving them some advice. Help them get away from the pedophile. Help them get away from the perpetrator. Help them get away from that person that is involved in domestic violence. And don't tell the clown that you're leaving. No. Prepare your stuff get it all together and while he or she because some of these uh domestic violence people some of these abusers some of these all the, these people are female it's not just men i know uh, society is wanted to just make men out of, and black men particularly as such animals no we've got some female animals running around too and what you do is you you get everything in order and you help that person if they if they you see them on your job Help them get a place, get them to some shelter. And while that clown is at work, yeah, I'm calling him a clown. While that idiot is at work, while that sick person is at work, that wife beater, that uh, husband beater, that person that just can't keep them, their hands to themselves, person, whatever they are, while they are at work or well, wherever they are, you know, you get them out of there. Don't tell them. Let them come home and find them and those kids gone. I had a cousin who was killed um, four, now five years ago by an idiot, by one of these clowns who killed her, killed the three kids, and tried to kill himself, but he wasn't successful. Thank heavens. I just pray that he is being tortured <clears throat> like nothing before. In, in that prison, if he's even still alive, because I I, I know that uh, from what I've heard, uh, when you get in prison, those men don't like men that beat up kids, kill kids, and kill women. So I, I you know he's I, I, it's sickening when they kill the woman, and then they kill the kids, and then they turn the gun on themselves. As such cowards, such selfish. Howard, such idiots and yes you can do just don't put yourself in harm's way because if you put yourself in harm's way then that's not going to do you or that person you're trying to help any good all of you could be you know in a mess so do it sensible plan it out plot it out because they they're plotting the pedophiles plot 
the 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 perpetrators they plot <clears throat> they have their plans of how they're going to do to 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 you and to those children they have a plan of how they draw them in so you plan it out and then you get up and get out of the place while you can and then when you're gone be sure and report it to the police don't don't you know it's so sad the, the number of movies that have been made of people who uh, finally had all they could take and they finally figured out a way to kill the the, the person and uh, then it comes out when the trial because they're trying to say well you're a murderer no you are it's self-defense and you just had to do it your way the law may not agree but you know you can only take so much of that particularly if you're an adult and you either crack or you just simply stay there and you go through all of it you you uh, allow that stuff to happen so if you would get yourself free be free of that be don't allow yourself to continue to be a victim because having uh, been a victim and seen victims and talked to them it's not the place to, to be nor to continue you want to come out of that alright so the uh, teddy bear stolen innocence is available at Amazon and it's available at incess in blackamerica.com incess in blackamerica.com so uh, and the price I believe is a reasonable I think it's 1595 if you order a hard copy and 995 if you order a uh, e EPUB an ebook now we're going to also be just to put it out in the airwaves so if you're in any of these cities you can either be telling your friends or what have you to, uh, you, you yourself or your friends uh, come make it a party we come to one of these events where uh, we will be doing what we call prophetic healing and what we're doing is dealing with all the issues my wife will be with me and others will be with us and right now we are tentatively scheduled to be in Connecticut as I said in uh, October we will be in Nashville in November and then we take a couple months to let winter old man winter do his thing and then in February, February will be in St. Louis with what's called Dominate Your Destiny. That conference, that's in, in St. Louis. And in April, we'll be in Louisville and uh, Las Vegas. So that's what's scheduled now. Uh, we'll be getting more uh, activities as we go on. But we're coming out of the gate with the book with the work and we are not relying on uh, someone to pay our way someone to uh, bring us there because we're coming there to do ministry and to deal with the book books and so we are doing what Paul did we're gonna we're gonna get there and then we'll see what God says after we get there we'll see if you'll buy some books if you'll come to one of the seminars if you'll get involved and find yourself or a friend or someone being set free because I believe that the greatest deliverance the greatest uh, time of victory and walking in healing and wholeness is now uh, I believe that God's going to release so much of his anointing into the earth and there's going to be such a outpouring of people turning from dead religions dead uh, 
things and